Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bob Waldron, and we're going to have ourselves a really nice inbox review today. It's going to be a brand spanking new tool of this beauty just here. It is an F35B Lightning II, it is 148 scale, and it's by Atelier. Um, now, this is quite an expensive kit it's brand new tool 2022 but it's coming in at around about 76 pounds so they're having a pretty big ask for this kit so you kind of want it to be pretty damn um a good good box so what we have here so we've got some stuff on the side just kind of showing you some pictures of one pre-built uh, a little bit of photo i say we'll have a better look at that we have what looks like to be five markings going on here with some decals so let's open this up and check it out. So where this all starts is going to be surface detail. Um, hopefully I'm not going to bore you with this, but the one thing about these F35s is this whole pattern system that we've got going on on the surface detail, um, which is a little bit annoying because the way that manufacturers have gone off to kind of represent this is again and yes atelier has done it as well so let's bring you in and i'll show you what i mean we have all this pattern stuff that's going on on here which yes it does look pretty nice it looks very neat consistent sharp right it does look good but um the thing is is what what's kind of put me off building an f35 is like the whole realisticness of something like this um if you look at any reference photos as f35s and whatnot you'll see that the surface looks so, so smooth. And this pattern here is more, it looks more like a spray on kind of job. Um, I haven't done much research, but I've, I think it's supposed to be um, like tape or something that kind of closes up all the rivets and panels and stuff um, to help with the stealth side of things. So, you know, as you could see, I mean, that is pretty damn out of scale um, and I can feel it's quite raised. Um, in all fairness, it doesn't feel maybe as raised as some of the F-35s I've seen out there, but uh, it's still quite on the raised side. Um, but, you know, actually it does feel actually quite a lot less than what I've um, seen out there. So I think they've taken that into account. Um, the underside, I mean, that definitely, that, that's, you know, that's feeling um, a little bit more sort of out of scale, just like all the others that I've seen. Um, the problem is, I guess... The reason why the uh, manufacturers do this, right, is, let's face it, if you had left it up to be a paint job, which technically, realistically, is what you should do, then this model would have no detail on it at all. If you could just imagine this with absolutely no detail, because all of this should technically be removed, um, it doesn't kind of bode well maybe with some people. I mean, I, I don't know, I think they might have gone, gone with the rather have some detail on the surface rather than none at all. And I think that's probably why they've gone off and done it. Um, I do want to attempt one of these, um, maybe kind of go down the routes of sort of sanding this detail back, um, getting some canopy mask, uh, not canopy mask, but getting some like masking tape or something and go about it that way. Maybe have a look online. Maybe somebody's done decals for it or um, some pre-cut mask or something like that. Um, because that's probably sadly one of the things about these kits where um, the whole spray inside of it kind of maybe puts some people off. But that does look pretty damn good if um, I do say so myself. Um, really nice, neat, crisp details. So let's have a look at some of the other parts with this. It does look like you get quite a bit of plastic, right? Maybe quite a bit more detail than um, others that I've seen out there. Oops. Oh, and the one cool thing is about this kit, it has a beast mode. Um, beast mode means lots more pylons, weapons, um, going to make it look a much more beefier uh, kind of kit. It really sort of turns me on. Um, we have some actually really nice sort of internal detail here. I do believe this is like the, the weapons bay. Um, nice couple of um, pipes and hoses going on there. We have um, air intakes as well. And the cockpit tub. Um, maybe not like a massive detail in there, but I guess, you know, it is looking quite crisp, clean and well detailed we have what looks like to, i think that's the is it the air brake or is it that thing that flips up on the top to um open up the um the the uh, engines a bit there um 
and it doesn't matter if we've got ejector pin marks on this side because I do believe that's going to close up with this piece just here so ejector pin marks don't matter um, yeah looking pretty pretty good we have some air intakes here which on the inside sadly you can see there is some um, ejector pin marks in there whether they're going to be visible or not you might have to sort of take care of them um, we then have some more um, like probably weapons bay doors again no ejector pin marks which is good um, I'm not sure there's probably some wheel weld doors just here again we've got a bit of detail some recessed rivets in there um, and again no eject pin marks so um, pretty good you know no eject pin marks or any nasty stuff like that I am seeing not really any flash on this now this has got a nice bunch of weapons on here like um, LGBs uh, sort of like a couple of bombs loads of these pylons for the uh, beast mode which is going to be rather rather cool uh, feels looks like there's a bit of oil on there. Don't know where that come from. Um, and the um, we do have some uh, recessed panel lines. Not really any rivets on these. Now beast mode, I think it doesn't matter. They're kind of like don't worry about the stealth side of things. So um, that's probably why those recessed panel lines are on them. Maybe I don't know if they've gone that far. Um, looking through that, it does all look really sort of nice and neat as you can see. Um, nothing interesting on the other side and is that times two yeah and we've got two sprues of them so a nice array of weapons and pylons and now coming to our last couple of sprues here we have all sorts of things like our wings and tail sections and all that goody 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 stuff um, again same sort of level of surface detail with this Right, and same with the underside, probably for those pylons those are, yeah, and we've got pre-built, drill. Uh, we've got, not pre-drilled, but um, holes that we can drill for the pylons if we want to go down the route of the beast mode, which I think most of us will go for, um, and that's pretty sort of, very sort of plain actually, but um, it does sort of make up the kit quite nicely. Um, last sprue here, uh, let's have a little look, we have our engines all in one big piece and actually looking well well detailed hopefully as you can see there it is looking very very nice um, we have some more sort of air intakes we have our nose cone here looking nice and nice and um, sharp just there um, this looks like our instrument display panel which there is no nothing on the inside but i'm assuming there's going to be a decal somewhere in here for us to have our display we have our ejector seat just here maybe slightly on the plane side but i do uh we'll have a check in a bit but i think the photo etch has um seat belts on it and again more internal detail with nice bits of rib work bits of pipe work so there is some nice detail in there and around it uh, we have our landing gear here as well which again as i say doesn't look like the flash is um, anything um, out the norm flip it over um, nicely not seeing any eject pin marks on them so that is good so yeah I always is the rest of the ejector seat just to jazz things up a little bit more to make that look a little bit better so um nice to see that a uh, bit of engine stuff going on here so maybe you could have the engine in or out uh, you also get a trolley with this as well a weapons trolley which is kind of cool to add to your diorama um, so let's get out the rest of oh well, actually we've got the actual canopy the canopy just here has been nicely tinted so you haven't got to worry about doing any sort of tinting work which is always a good one and if we can just show that looking on the camera so far uh, does look really nice and shiny uh, maybe it looks a little bit scuffy on the top there like maybe rubbing in the box a little bit but that could probably just very easily be polished out uh, just putting up to the light I mean yeah you can I mean that that there that, that little scuff there I mean you can really tell that you know it's been rubbing around in the box so a little bit of a polish there should be absolutely fine with that um, then we have a little bit of photo in here I think these this kind of amount of photo is normally a bit of a gimmick just so that I can put on the box it's got photo edge but you do get some um, not the best kind of seat belts i mean um, edard seat belts look way better than that if you ask me 
um, and some other little bits that'll probably go around the, the um, cockpit area. Um, decals or decals, right? Now this is this kit's nice because I do believe we have both RAF um, and US markings and another set, which I forgot what it was. Um, ah, Italian, of course it's Italian. Yeah, there's an Italian set of markings in there, but yeah. Um, and yes, there's a big Italian flag just there as well. So um, yes, the uh, markings, they should normally, yeah, they are by cartograph, so really damn good decals. Microsol and set work well with them. Shouldn't really have any problems. Um, and yes, we have all the different markings. Everything looks nicely in registry. Um, don't really have to talk much about these. They're going to be good. Um, we have some instructions, but we do seem to have, oh, this is the painting and decals guide. So let's bring you in on this. Nice bit of colored paper, not glossy, but you know, still color. Uh, showing all our markings and what colours, uh, FS numbers, nice that they've included them. Um, and these are the main stencils, common parts. Okay, so it kind of guides you through there with all the common stuff. And then it looks like, yes, we have our different sets of markings. So we have um, two UK markings, which is cool and two US markings and they've got a bit of a fancy one there actually which is nice to see that they're going down that route with some of um, their aircraft um, another US one and as we've already shown um, we've got an a, a, a ta a Italian one and it does nicely show you all the colour callouts and markings for all our weapons and all that good stuff so you know pretty damn good um, instructions will probably be atypical um, Italian Air, which you know, got a bit of description of the aircraft itself, um, showing you all the parts. Um, yes, looks like we're just gonna, you know, kind of a standard start with the um, the tub, eject seat together, bringing all that together. Actually, that was the one thing, actually. Um, the instrument display panel, um, I remember seeing that there it is, that was what I was looking for. Um, there's our instrument display panel, bit of um, heads up, well, not a heads up display, um, like the computer screen that they're gonna have on there. Sorry if I've kind of named that wrong, but there's that decal there. Um, and then looking at it, it looks like it goes coming together quite quickly. We're bringing the wing sections um, together. Hopefully that's not gonna be a bit of a, a gappy issue there. Um, no offense to Talier, but they're not the best of fits. Um, you normally have a little bit of filling, sanding, scribing to do somewhere along the way. Um, and it's asking you to clean up a lot of bits of pieces on this. Um, having holes open for um, beast mode and stuff but um, not looking too shabby the um, it's nice to see that the whole um, let's bring it out a bit actually I'm a bit off um, the whole um, wheel welds and everything it's kind of like lots of um, kind of building it up all the walls and the ceiling and stuff it just allows for more detail rather than it being one piece do like it when they do do that kind of stuff and uh, you've got the weapons bay um, so actually looking at it, it's before we even bring these two fuse large halves together, it's a lot of work with weapons bays, wheel bays, um, cockpit and everything. Hopefully, um, as you can see, the, the um, landing gear goes in here in your wheel well before you've done any spray works. You normally want to keep those kind of pieces to one side so you can spray them separately, but they want you to do it um, at this stage. So. Um, hopefully you can sort of leave them out so a bit of test fitting to see if you can you don't have to put them in at this stage it just makes it easier down than the um, down the road um, and then you've still got to put the engine in and everything um, two engines basically with this one before you then bring the two halves together so a lot of work before actually so you kind of see it come together actually um, and moving along yes we have all the bits and bobs there. Um, ailerons look like they can be in moving positions and slats um, and all that good good stuff so yeah looking quite good then we move on to the weapons and stuff which um, goes in and it does look like that all just comes brings it all together rather rather nicely it doesn't look like anything complicated um, ooh, can you have the engine yes you can have the engine in the um, vertical takeoff mode or um, flight mode so kind of good that they've got both options there as well 
and moving along putting your little bits and bobs on um, just to finish it up with like wheels and wheel well doors um, you've got your canopies you've got your we weapons um, actually it does, does seem like there's quite a lot to this actually you then do have your weapons trolley which is a nice little added extra to this which for 76 pounds you'd think there'd be a nice couple of extras for it and that's it um okay final conclusion it does look like a very very good kit actually love the fact that they've done beast mode i like the fact that they've got both us uk italian a nice bit of choice of markings to go in there um it would be great to see like eddard and that get on this and get like photo etch parts and resin parts for it as well which would be rather rather cool um no ejector pin marks um flash looks absolutely fantastic um as i mentioned about the surface detail um you know it's it looks better it's it's not what i was hoping for i suppose really what i was hoping for was it with this kind of detail could just be a hairline raise um not quite there but it's better than what i've been seeing out there um, probably the best actually what i've been seeing out there so um you know not quite 100 percent happy with it but you know it's still better um really if you wanted to do it the proper way i think the proper way is just to oop, sand it all down uh, and then sort of um, mask it up and spray it that way um, apart from that it does look like it's probably the best one out there if it fits really nice and well which as i say atelier can be a little bit um, the only other thing i can say about this is yes the price i ain't gonna lie the price is quite quite steep um atelier has i know i did a review on the oh was it the tornado 130 second scale uh, yeah, I think it was the Tornado 132nd scale, hundred and like forty pounds for that kit. Um, these new kits, new tools that Italia is bringing out, are coming with some hefty price tags. So um, probably not worth the money. You know, it could have been cheaper, but then it does look like if it goes together well, it just looks like the best f35 and 148 scale i've seen out there um so take it as you will um on the price you know i suppose it just is the way it is these days um, but other than that hopefully um this has been beneficial to you and as always until next time my name is Bobby Waldron, this genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed